Okay, welcome friends. Today our topic is arch arteries. Arch arteries. Okay. Arch arteries. So let me draw the arches which develop from the aortic sinus. Aortic sac. Develop from the aortic sac. So this did you remember that uh, this was the part of the uh, sin uh, sorry truncus arteriosus and then this was some arches and this this and then uh, sinus venosus and this this okay for from this part the veins will develop and I will discuss about this in later and on the upper part the arteries will develop okay so let's start. Arteries will develop. Let me use it. This is the aortic sac. The aortic sac. Okay. Then fast touch this is the first touch this is the second touch this is the third touch this is the fourth touch fifth touch will disappear I mean draw then I will disappear it it will disappear and sixth touch will form the lung bud the lung bud and let me now disappear the fifth touch okay and from this side also first touch second touch third touch fourth touch fifth will disappear and this will form sixth will form the lung bud will attach to the lung bud okay now we draw the dorsal aorta this and this okay guys so this is the first arch this is the second arch this is the third arch this is the fourth this is the This is the sixth. Same here first touch, second touch, third touch, fourth touch, sixth touch. Okay. So now let me draw the arch of aorta system of the heart. This, this. From here, the brachiocephalic trunk will divide into two, and from here, the common carotid and lip subclavian. <coughs> okay, so this is the right sided subclavian this is the right sided common carotid this is the right sided sorry left sided this is the left sided common carotid <coughs> this is the left sided subclavian okay so now let's see how it develops the every artery how it develops so first the from the first touch first touch is will form the maxillary artery in both side okay artery second touch will form the 
स्टेपिडॉइड एंड हाइवाइट अच्छा then third and fourth arch this will form the this system third and fourth arch so let's see how fourth arch so has to come to the third arch okay. so third arch has proximal side proximal side this is the proximal side this is the distal side okay from proximal side from proximal side the common carotid artery common carotid artery of both side will form then the distal part along with the dors dorsal aorta this is the dorsal aorta okay so the distal part along with the dorsal aorta will form internal carotid artery internal carotid artery okay and so from where the external carotid will come question here a extra bud will new bud will form which will make the external carotid artery carotid <coughs> artery okay so third arch in both side it will happen next come to the fourth arch next come to the fourth arch so fourth arch in left side first come to the left side left horn of aortic sac aortic sac this will form the along with fourth arch along with the left horn aortic sac and the dorsal aorta so this part this part this part will form the arch arch of aorta arch of aorta so let's see in left side so arch of aorta formation formation of arch of aorta is now done okay common carotid dietary formation is now done now remaining is left subclavian let me do another thing from the sixth arch from the fourth arch another arch will come this is called the so we'll call the seven cervical intersegmental artery okay same here also from the fourth arch fourth arch and it will called seven cervical intersegmental artery okay so seven cervical intersegmental artery in the left side will form the left subclavian okay so left subclavian formation is also now done now remaining is right subclavian and right common carotid artery so let us see the right sided part so in right side the right horn will form the brachiocephalic trunk brachiocephalic trunk okay 
also brachiocephalic trunk formation is done this is done this is done and this is done now remaining is right subclimen and right common carotid artery okay so now right subclavian is from the by the dorsal aorta and the, this is the dorsal aorta and the seven cervical branch dorsal aorta and seven cervical branch this will form the right subclavian artery so right subclavian artery formation is also done and in my earlier i have told you that third arch will form the common carotid artery in both side in both side external carotid artery in both side internal carotid artery in both side not that that this right side left sided will form in both side same thing will occur in the right side same thing first part first part will form uh, first part will form the common carotid artery that's proximal part then distal part will form the distal part will form the internal carotid artery along with the dorsal aorta and the meat will form the egg part and it will form the external carotid artery so now this is also done okay so and sixth arch will form the pulmonary artery and uh, distal part distal part will form a ligament this is the ligament which will be called the ductus arteriosus arteriosus this is only in the left side okay not in the right side so this was the video about the arch arteries thank you guys for watching this video